Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 8 of Greedfall on the Xbox One X. We are exactly where we're at, the end of part 7. Let's crack straight in. We're going to head to the open world and meet this governor chappy. I think I'm at the right gate and I think I'm going the right way. We're heading toward our compass marker in yellow up at the top. Look at the beautiful mist. Oh, hello. Bandits! Level 10. Hey, how's that for good timing? Get ourselves a level up, people. Oh, a skill point and an attribute point. Have it. Come on now. Well, it's all coin, so we'll take it anyway. It's been... Maybe about five days since I played this, so <laughs> I was just reminding myself of some of the the batons. But we did alright in our first fight. Let's just have a quick. Well, that's where we need to head to. Really is beautiful this game, though. Blimey! Right, let us go to Electric Avenue or or our upgrade sheet. Level up and ride your pony. So we've got one of them and one of them. Why do I feel like we just did this? Oh, we've done one of each of those, haven't we? Oh, we've done two of those. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. What? So we've got one... Right, let me just check what I was doing here. I'm not interested in that at the minute. Endurance level, increase the maximum life balance. Attribute required for where heaviest armors, which we're not interested in. We're only interested in those middle two, I'm sure we are. Mental power, strength and endurance. There's nothing down here about... Armors. It's more about... Attribute required to wield the best one-handed, two-handed swords on that side. And we've already... Why have I got confirm on things I seem to already have? Alright, oh, okay. Improve this attribute. Oh, wait a minute. Improve it? What? So that... Ooh, that's thrown it into the mix. What does that mean? Improve this attribute, uh, uh, this attribute agility, or is it? Does it not matter where my cursor is? Is that what it is? As long as I'm on this tree, it will just know. If that's what's confusing me, I think it doesn't matter. It doesn't seem to matter which one I'm on, as long as it's unlocked. It says the same thing. Improve this attribute agility. Yeah. Anyway, come on, Steve. Uh, so, physical damage 10%, plus 10%. On that's on swords. So, yeah, I think I decided in the last time we did this that I was going to take the... I'm at it. I've got a feeling we did this. Has it not saved it? So, we're putting it in the pistol. Well, apologies if you've seen me do that again, but I can, could have sworn I'd done all this already, but anyway. Oh, can't wait to get that, though. That'll be crafting bullets and alchemical preparations uses fewer ingredients. Oh, I can craft bullets. Right now, that? Yes.
Charisma might be something worth uh, looking at, you know, get you through quite, got me through a few things actually with 50-50 options, which may have been 75 options or whatever, 60% options. Anyway, we don't have a point for that at the minute, so let's go back to our skill. And we were heading down the trap route, weren't we? So we need two points, allows the throwing of alchemical preparations which explode on impact, affecting all enemies in close proximity. And that's then going to take us to... Alchemical preparations can be launched from further away. Right, okay. I'm wondering, though, where does that go to? Shadow Burst. Knocks back and deals magic damage to all enemies around the caster. Very useful to turn the tide of a melee fight. Greatly slows enemies in close proximity when casting Shadow Burst. Oh, it seems to be halfway sort of mage and technical, that one, doesn't it? Allows the use of rifles, yeah, we, we weren't really that bothered about that at the minute, were we? Allows the application of alchemical preparations on weapons. Yeah, some of these, see these bigger ones cost two points. I'm kind of, I'm curious about this one, what was the melee? Kick on balance, yeah kind of curious about this because it it's only going to use up very useful to turn the tide of a melee attack knocks back and deals magic damage to all enemies around the caster fancy that you know cost two points though. I might hang on to this point I might try and build up two and then I've got an option for each of these things let's do that Sorry, it took me a little bit of thinking there, but I'm just trying to refresh my mind as to what options were available. Right, come on. Let's crack into the action, people. Or the speaking, or the talking, or whatever it is we're going to end up at in this quest. We don't know at this point. We're in the right place, anyway. And we are heading to here. San Matthias. Oh yes, of course, we go to our little uh, halfway house, don't we? I don't think I've got anything other than... Oh. I don't want to speak to him yet. Other than selling the two rubbishy bits I picked up. Onward. I quite like that little halfway house idea. It's quite nice. Every time you do a journey, you've got the option just to sort your stuff out without running around a town or whatever. So that's main world. There's a little place to have a look up up here. Well, that signpost isn't particularly helpful. <laughs> Can't see the names. Right, well, that's where we're meant to be going in there. But I just wondered what was kicking around the outsides of this place. Let's have a look. Oh, nothing. Both roads lead to travel. Fair enough. Come then. Keep the some of the plants look like they're. Pickable, upable. Is that a word? Two words? The East Outpost. Oh, there's a big castle in the distance, look. Hello. Hello. 
Outpost Lieutenant. Greetings. What can I do for you? Why build an outpost here? Well, we do have to watch over the land surrounding the city. With the bandits, the beasts and the natives. We don't have a lot of time to rest, you know. Anything else? Uh, no, I think we're okay. Riveting though it was, I shall move on. Who's that? Just a random. Yet to see a loot box anywhere. Well, not a loot box, you know what I mean. A box of loot. This place is barren. Okay, I think I'll just run toward the castle. The question mark there, though. Look. How do we get to that? Aha. Well, I think we'll definitely set up camp. I need to remember that I can travel from these camps. Is that ours? Yeah. Okay, so that was the exclamation mark then. Meanwhile, back in Gotham, let's get to that castle. Or a palace, or whatever it is. Wow, it looks awesome, doesn't it? San Mateus. Saddle up and ride my carriage. Ooh, big bunch of folk down here all f working away by the looks of it. Farmers. That looks awesome. That is a big place. Oh, hello. Son of a wibbler. Whoa, the shit. What the shit? Anyway, I'll take as many fights as I can get at the minute because... Uh, ooh, that looks nice. Health potion, magic potion, coins. Shiny guild coins. The old Al Sad Saber. Some of those might do for... What's his puff? Kurt. There's, oh, there's beasts and all sorts out here, look. Um... Holy shit, he's... These bloody... Oh, no. That was outrageous. Holy shit. Nice. Oh, f what? Oh, I don't believe it. It bloody charged me from the front and killed me. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that fight we just did with the bandits is probably needing done again. If I, well, I assume it'll have loaded in from. Good grief, Steve! Put your phone on silent. Oh, 
No, it hasn't actually. It saved it after the fight. Uh, that's interesting. So does it save... Let's just see what it's done here. Yeah, so it's it has saved the pickups from what I picked up after that fight, apart from the last piece of coin. Whoa, that damage is awesome. 208. And better stun. Anything that goes down is Fury Regen. Definitely the one for her, without doubt. I'm not overly sure, because that doesn't seem to suggest that it's got any element on it, but it seems to be glowing with some sort of magics when she uses it. Stone needle. Armor damage comes down by one, but apart from that, let's give her it. Should we try that again, people? Once more, once more from the top, this time with feeling, eh? Nearly Adam as well. <laughs> it's a bit, bit frustrating. They do seem to be the sort of animal that won't bother you unless you bother them, though, don't they? He's down. Bloody health. Went down a bit quicker then, didn't they? Flipping egg fire. Yeah, a bit of bile. We need that. Can't remember what for, but we do. Obsidian leather. Yeah, it's worth killing. It's worth killing anything in this game. <laughs> oh, who fungus. Oh, that Russian stuff. We need that. Right, so we can get that from logs. It was for one of the potions that we want to make, if I remember rightly. There was two potions we want to make, and I'm pretty sure that Russian heterophilia, or whatever it is, is one of the things we need. So, look around logs. Keep that in our heads. It does seem to be that the outskirts of a few of the places have got re things that regen that are collectibles for you to... It's a little bit to go up up there, actually. Help you stock up a little bit. Because it was like this outside of the first... Well, new Serene. Oh, Dragon Blood. We need that for one as well. I'm also having a mind blank about making potions, whether I can do it on the fly or... Have to... No, I've got to do it at that station, maybe, I think. It's amazing what I forget in the space of five days, people, I tell you. It's a bit ominous around these air parts. It's just a flower here. Don't forget to check the rocks, Stephen. Sometimes there's uh Jesus Christ, give me a fright. It 
It's a bit weird. Normally the rock faces have got stuff we can collect on them. It's not always that noticeable though with the rock. Oh, easy. That was that a dead end right enough? Looks like it was. a whole lot of nothing around here for <laughs> for having made me go up here. What be the point? Could be there's a quest here later, of course. There's literally nothing here. An absolute dead end with nothing in it. How strange. And slightly disappointing. <laughs> but never mind. I mean, at the very least, it could have given me stuff on the trees. <laughs> Pine resin. We definitely need pine resin, without any shadow of a doubt. And funnily enough, I wonder where I got that from, and it's a pine tree. Shocker, eh? Oh, hello, yeah, there's some fighting down here, people. whole bloody lump of them. Come on, you badgers. Slav you. Get hit on this guy. Seem to have lost my magic when it comes to the dodge in there, people. I'm sure, there was a third one. Where'd the other one go? Ooh, place to discover in there. Right, I'm frustrated now because there was definitely three of these things. All oh, right, well, there's one and there's two, but I didn't pick up for it. Oh, there is. Nice catch. Is that pine resin? I think it might be. Ooh, four of them as well. Thank you. Ooh, get in. Stocking up on the old bombs here, people. Going to be very careful with them this time and not waste them. More pine resin. What? I've already been up here. I feel like I've maybe done a bit of a circle. Is this not? Yeah, this is the bit I thought was a dead end. So in fact, it wasn't a dead end. I could turn left and go up this way.
Well, that's going to take us back down. So before we do that, we're going to have a look at this bit behind the fence up here. I do get the impression that some of these areas will probably have little quests in them, as I said earlier. Because there's not a lot else in them at the minute. Hello, Vigets! Oh. Like a little mini outpost prison or something, isn't it? Lock picking level three, which Locked. we don't have. I don't have the key. We don't have the key. Yeah, okay. Just leave it. I suspect we'll be back here at some point. Little elements of that music, not all of it, but elements of it sound a little bit Skyrim-y just in a few places, that wandering music. Right, down we go. Uh, which way was it? Yeah, there was a couple of paths up there, weren't there? I'm pretty sure that's where we started, isn't it? Well, we stocked up on a few bits there. Lovely. Bits we really needed as well. Just to ease my... Curiosity. Yeah, there's there's nothing in here for making stuff, is there? I need to be at a table. That's fine. May the enlightened always keep you in his divine blessing. And you, my friend. In the tall grass. Ah, a moat. Just one last little check for pine resin. Can't believe how good this city looks. Are they queuing up to get in. Actually, there's more over here. Pretty sure that bush will give me something. Oh, thank you. Barrage. And barrage. Bandits. Come on now, pick up. Bite! Beggar, shot me. You bastard. 
So you can play at that game, mate. Son of a bitch. Nice work, team. Oh, shiny chest. What? A lot of picking, too. Give over. Not fair. Oh, got ammo for that. Thicket blacksmith's gloves. Craftsmanship plus one. So I wonder if we keep those and put them on, we'll be able to make certain items without having to put a craft point on, maybe. It's a thought, in it? Pine resin seems to have dried up a little bit. Dishing out for fun a minute ago. Mind you, to be fair, these aren't pine trees, are they? That might be why. Okay. Should we go in the city now? See what's going on. that up there like a giant wheel on top of the right up in the center there at the top like a massive wheel of some sort attention to details awesome Good evening guards halt in the name of the Enlightened One, present yourself. Lady de Sade, emissary of the Congregation of Merchants on Tier D. I have come to present my regards to your governor. We have been expecting your visit, Your Excellency. Welcome. May he light your way. And you, my friend. City of San Mateus. Well, it looks like there's going to be a lot to do in here. Now, uh, sometimes there's little notes on the wall we can... I wonder if we should get to the house first, because it'll probably instigate a number of quests. Wow, check that out. St. Lucius Church Street. I think we might have come the wrong way, you know. Oh, hello, Luke. Thank you. Ammo. It's well worth getting these little boxes, you know, I mean, the stuff that it's giving you, even the gold, but ammo, I mean, it's got three ammo, I think I got six ammo there from two boxes or something like that, and I ran out of bullets at one point, if you remember, I like that it's just ammo and not different types of bullets, just makes it nice and simple, can we open that, no, Ooh, we can make our uh, bombs. Well, potions for traps. Uh, 
That's elemental damage. Uh, yeah, it was the elemental damage one that was the one I was using most, wasn't it? Which we're allowed to... Oh, we've got loads of stuff for that now. Pine resin, dragon, bl dragon blood resin. Should better make about... Mm, maybe seven of those, something? Ooh, nine of them. Let's have a bit of that action. And the magic one. I think the ma uh, magic damage. Yeah. Not quite as many of those, but four. Yeah, that was the Russia. The Russia. The Rushula. It's not Russia, is it? It's Rushula. Or Rushula. So back and back to no pine resin. So we're looking for more of that again. Haze potion, potion that increases your stealthiness for a long duration. Might take, might make one of those. Never know. It might come in handy. Balance potion. Antidote. Poison resistance, basically. That'll do for now. Oh yeah, that was a point actually. Sorry, just before we move on. How do I make bullets? Seems to suggest that I'm allowed to make bullets. Oh, there it is, there. Ammo. So at the moment we've got... Uh, owned 12, yeah. Is there a limit to how much we can carry? I don't know. So we can make seven bullets and then we'll run out of hoof fungus. Excellent. Oh yeah, it's these. So at the moment, that's stasis trap. So we actually want elemental trap on right trigger and X. Yeah, that's it. And then we've got magic on B, and we've got poison on A. Yeah, we're on with that for now. I need to remember I've got two levels to the D-pad as well. Place of punishment? Jesus Christ. Oh my lord, what is that? That's one of the things we fought, isn't it? It's no wonder they were angry with us. Do you renounce your gods? Answer me. Why? Why are you doing this? Behold your so-called gods. You are demons. They burn. They are nothing. You shed tears for this creature while your heart should be full of joy. Welcoming the light. <gasps> Get your pagan foul teachings. Embrace the true faith. You are mad. Renounce your gods!
Inquisitor? You! Stop where you are. The pagan stink of these soulless natives taints you. You bring demon-spawned barbarians through our gates. <sighs> this man just killed some helpless soul in front of our eyes and he calls us barbarians. Who are you to address me with such familiarity? I am the Inquisitor Aloysius. And you will be going nowhere lest your answers give me satisfaction. Do you believe <clears throat> that the God of Light is the one and only God? Don't nope. tell me that you are going to humor this crazed assassin. If I want to complete my mission, I believe I have no other choice. Confirm your faith, charisma, insist your diplomatic function, renounce your, fa your faith in his this God. What? Renounce your faith in this God. Charisma, let's try it. Diplomacy may seem to you of little import, but I doubt that your governor will be of a similar opinion. Aggression towards an emissary of another nation is an error that could lead to war. You cannot hide from the divinity behind Nice. Me. But very well. I leave you in divine hands. This time. I shall allow you to continue along your path. I am certain ours will cross again. And be aware that wheresoever you wander, you shall be weighed, measured, and judged. As will you, you creepy old bastard. <laughs> Oh, my reputation's up one. They mustn't have heard my creepy old bastard comment. Where the hell's the... Oh, it's there. The fire is out and he's... There's just no need for that. A fair fight is one thing, but... Just burning something for no need. Ah, it's just head... Oh, blimey, that's a lot of steps, isn't it? Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the hey? I wish I'd been given an excuse to put this madman to the sword, but you did well. Congratulations. You are already a great diplomat. It seems to me you're being sarcastic. Me? My apologies, my lady. It wasn't my intention. <sighs> I don't understand. Like, they try and be clever with the sound so that it only you can only hear it where you're facing the right way. You just let it be heard because I, I can't... The, it was the same Dragon Age a little bit, not as bad as this, but, you know, you suddenly miss half a conversation that you're actually interested in because you just face the wrong way. Oh, there's a ship out in the ocean. Which isn't a surprise. Obviously, there should be ships in the ocean. It just looked nice. That was, <laughs> that was all. Young lady. Pardon me. Are you not part of the new governor's entourage? I'm his cousin, and I'm accompanying him on his mission to Tirfredi. What can I do for you, Father? Bishop Petrus, how divinely fortunate this is. Did you know that I had the honor of meeting you at your uncle's court when you were a child? I would never have imagined that you would grow up to resemble the island natives so closely. The island was yet to be discovered. How could you have known? <laughs> you haven't lost your clever little tongue. You were always quite a remarkable young girl. I'm on my way to New Serene as an ambassador to the new governor. Do you think there would be room for me to accompany you? The roads are not truly safe. I must first meet the Mother Cardinal to present my respects on behalf of my cousin. I will accompany you, and then we can take the road together. I'm so happy our paths have crossed once again. Right, so another party member by the looks of it. That's not our quest. That'd be a different thing. <laughs> That's where we came in, isn't it? Your 
Eminence, in the name of the Congregation of Merchants, I present my best regards. May the light bless you and accompany you on these grounds with inspired guidance. I thank you. We truly wish that this visit will strengthen the ties between our two nations. I learned that you crossed paths with that of Inquisitor Aloysius. I beseech you to forgive his zealous nature. His faith is absolute, and I congratulate you to have appeased him. Your faith and your diplomatic skills honor you. Another subject brings me as well. The Malachor. The horrible blood plague decimating our peoples. A terrible matter that worries us all and reveals our imperfections and sinful nature. For he would never have allowed such an evil to spread without a deeper reason, a fault. Our theologians are certain that the Malachor is the work of a curse. And we have discovered that this island is home to a cult that venerates willfully a horrifying demon. A demon? An evil spirit? It's very strange. Oh, I know no planet worships this sort of troubled spirit. We must unearth this cult and tear it out by its sinister, sinful roots. We started to investigate a village not far from here, where strange happenings have been reported. I have begun investigations, and I confirm that a demon is certainly active in the area. Alas, the population is very secretive, and we have great difficulty gleaning any useful information. But if the congregation would help us in this matter, in other words, if the Malachor troubles your cousin as much as myself, report to His Majesty that the destruction of this pagan cult is the only way to eradicate the plague, and his help in obtaining any information from the natives would be extremely welcomed. Be certain that your message will be transmitted, Mother Cardinal. I look forward to our next encounter. Right. The problem is it keeps dishing me out. Well, Kurt hasn't got any magics, but these two have. Mental power, willpower, agility. Mental power, endurance, willpower. It's interesting. He's kind of a... Maybe a Templar type. Bit of magics, bit of... She's more a mix of technical and magics, I think. Whereas he's more a sword, one-handed sword and willpower. I think, I think I might stick with what I've, uh, no, wait a minute, have I got to take one of them? Companions on the team, three of two. So I've got to remove someone, right, so I've got to take Petrus is basically what's happening, I think. Or is it just ticked all of them for the sake of it? Yeah. So I don't have to take him. So... I'm definitely going to keep Kirk because he's kind of a one-handed warrior and I'm a technical. So we could do with somebody with magics and both of them have. Uh... Oh, he uses the divine magic ring. Yeah, let's, I'll tell you what, we'll put him on just so we can see. See what happens with this uh, weapon of the magic ring. Because he looks like he's a proper mage then, if that's the case. So where does she go then? She just vanished. Good day. Good day. Is there any more conversation to have with her or not? Easy. Your Eminence, I salute you. Lady de Sarde, what can I do for you? I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency. Okay, let's be out of here. Can we go in these rooms or not? Oh, 
be rude to not have a nosy, I suppose. You do find loot in the strangest of places. Random guy in a corridor. Nothing spooky about you. Greetings. May the word of Saint Matthias guide you. <laughs> this house is a maze. Attention to detail in every room. I mean, there's not even anything to do in these rooms. Easy. Okay, let's just go out. It's just very pretty is basically all that's happening in it. Is it worth it? No. Oh, there's that wheel shape. It was a symbol, wasn't it? Like a decoration. Cracking view from up there. There's normally a residency, isn't there? Did it not say I get one in every town? Let's just check that. It's usually a question mark, isn't it? Kicking around. If I'm near it. Well, this looks like a church of some kind. This guy should be showing me around, surely, this Petrius, whatever his name is. Right, let's get our noses into this area. We'll, have a, we'll see how far we can nosy around, because it might instigate, sh well, shops, pick up a bit of loot, maybe instigate some quests, initiate some quests, I should say. The Magpie Moneylenders Shop. Is that what it said? Yeah. Doesn't look like we can actually do anything in here, though. Nope. Mm -hmm. 
I think I'm getting the impression that it's green doors that we can go in and blue ones we can't. Well, not that green door we can't. where the ships are. Hello, my lady. You are from the congregation, are you not? Indeed. De Sade. Your admiral has sent me here. Pleasure. You may call me Fernando. I am the port commander here. What might I do for you? Oh, Fernando. Uh, nothing at the moment, it seems. Thanks. I've got everything I need. I think finding me way around this place is going to be a bitch. I've just dawned on me that I've got rid of a bunch of costumes that were probably worth hanging on to because they had the factions on them. Oh, I don't think we're allowed in there, are we? We've got a faction on this. Oh. Well, it has got a faction on it, and I think it is the naughty, naught one. But I could be wrong. Check that out, it's gorgeous. Uh, go on, we'll have a little look down there, why not? See what's what. Can't go on a ship, surely, no. Only get so far before we end up in the water, won't we? find loot down by the docks. It's a good point actually. What oh he can't yeah what's all what's his puff able to wear? <clears throat> cool blimey he's got some good gear on already hasn't he? It's all blue. Oh, that's a good point. He can actually wear that really good ring that we got, I think. Spot some loot in the corner here.
Well, they didn't seem to question me, did they? I'm wondering if we are in the right faction outfit. Can you hear my concentration levels? <laughs> Thinking about where to look. Bishop's Ring. Oh, thank you. Is that any good? Oh, he needs a mental power of three. Ninety nine extra magical damage. So this is the bit I'm not understanding yet is how I get my companions ability levels up. It's just gorgeous. What a great job they have done on this game come on guys uh... impossible to enter All right, okay There is a, something quite therapeutic about just wandering about, trying to find little hidden items and discovering the city for the first time. Eden Town Square. Good grief, we've gone over an hour, people. Didn't even notice. Still paying, well, still reaping the benefits of this extra loot discovery percentage we've got on, I think. Even though we took some of it off. Not seen hiding hair of a shop yet. Oh, that sounded like a fight, didn't it? Need to use kick more, man. It's awesome. Bye. Oh, resurrection powder. Thank you. Oh, there's a nice hat in there. Oh, 
Well, it was blue anyway. Assumed it was going to be a bit uh, more powerful than somebody's, but it was not. Trouble here. Keep using the wrong button to heal my bloody self with. Easy. Nice fight. Come on. Inquisitor boots have got to be decent for somebody, surely. Ooh, pine resin and ammo. Never mind all the dead bodies on the streets, people. Move along. Nothing to see here. <laughs> I'm never going to find my way around this place. I'm completely lost. Admittedly, I've not looked at that bloody map, so <laughs> that might help. Sure, I've been down this street already. May the enlightened bless you. Yeah, that's the port quarter. So, I'm sure these boxes just, they must regenerate. I'm not missing all those, surely. It's a little bit Jack the Ripper type Victorian era, this, isn't it? Feels like. Not the clothing, but the actual city itself feels like. Yeah, that's the shop and that we couldn't do anything in. Right, okay, I'm going to head to the globe icon now. There's more to this city than I've seen, but... I was actually hoping we'd find our home. Oh, there's a shop. I was actually hoping we'd find a home. Campfire. Might be better for... That badger. Resistances go up, don't they?
Welcome to the best holy item shop in San Mateus. That's a big shout. Do you like it here in San Mateus? It is impossible not to like it here. The air is purer than it is on the continent. The Malachor is far away. And rumor has it that this island is the one Saint Mateus himself chose as his final resting place. Right, let's dump some of the dregs here. I shall keep that for now. I'll keep those blacksmith ones just in case we want to try that out. Resell to a merchant, sell it to a merchant, resell it to a merchant, sell it to a merchant. Intact heart. Well, it's got our coin up a little bit. Oh, wait, it's okay at the moment. What's this badge you got then? Well, that's not bad for him, is it? So we can find some way of getting him to level blah. It's a lot of coin, though. Old Inquisitor's vestments. Loot chance, plus 15%. Actually, everything goes up in that. It's elemental resistance and poison resistance I lose. Um. Go on. You sold me. Yeah, it's got the Inquisitor faction on it, that one. So we might need that one at some point. Need Endurance to wear it, though. That's got it. Faction. Might come in handy at some point if we need to do a quest, but we won't buy it right now. Well, we can't. It's 275. It's not like we're struggling at the minute, is it, to be fair? Can't actually see what that cape looks like. Goodbye. 
May the enlightened always keep you in his divine blessing. So what was the difference between that hat and the one I had on? Because I had the tricorn on, didn't I? Yeah, the loot chance was the same. Yeah, I think it was a bit of a waste of money, actually. <laughs> I get a bit of magical resistance, but other than that, I kind of had what I wanted on the tricorn. I had more options on it. Just a different look in it, I guess. Oh, well, the armor and balance went up, though. Keep it on for now. Right, well, I think we should wrap things up there for that part. I need to find... Uh, oh, hello, there's a blacksmith. I just saw it on the... Here we go. Oh, no, it's not a blacksmith. It's a crafting bench. Yeah, I can't do any of that. That's why I don't have any crafting. Right, there's, here's a way to test our theory then. Hang on. Blacksmith gloves. Yeah, there we go. So putting the blacksmith gloves on lets us do, well, one craft level one stuff at the minute another plus another eight stun <laughs> that's really these ones we want isn't it level two would take us a fair way up okay well, we know we can do it. I don't think it's worth wasting anything on for just level 1 stuff, though, for that sword, so... Uh, can we make any more potions yet? Stasis mix. No, not yet. Right. Ah, I've just seen the bonfire. No, hang on a minute. We lit a bonfire when we came in, but is this another one? All right, hang on. Let's see that through. See what we find. Ha! Ah, I knew it would be here somewhere. A letter from Secretary of the Embassy. A group of nati uh, natives came to the Embassy and asked to see you. As they could not find you, they asked me to give you the location of a forest where they hope you will meet them. If I may, they seemed relatively agitated and aggressive, so be careful, yours respectfully. Okay. Uh, I thought there was a fire kicking about on the last one. Oh, we've got a travel glow. Is that what? Oh, no, there's the fire there. Marvellous. Right, well, it's an ideal place to wrap things up, isn't it? Oh, we've got a crafting table in here as well. Workbench. Lovely. Well, there you are, folks. I enjoyed that, actually. It was a bit of a mixed bag. I think this game is going to be like that, though. It's going to be very slow in places and, and, and mix a bit of action in with it, which I kind of like, rather than just throwing a lot of action at you. I, but obviously, we want to stay on track with quests and stuff, so we'll keep levelling up. So, we will crack on with the... Well, either the main quest or the one we just picked up to the door there. 
in the next part. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Greedfall on the Xbox One X. If you have enjoyed this video, people, please smack that like button for me. It is much appreciated. And if you want to see more, and you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and come see me again. See you later. Bye.